F1 2023 has finally been revealed. Sadly, the trailer is mostly a story trailer for Breaking Point, but I do still have some information on the game. We did get a reveal of sorts last week with a fake car reveal for Connor Sport, the new team in the Breaking Point story. Yes, that's right, Breaking Point returns after a year off. The reveal was an interesting way of introducing the game, with Naomi Schiff presenting, who you may know as a driver in her own right, and from the Sky Sports broadcast. And of course, Matt Gallagher from P1, XWTF1. It was a bit of fun, but it's the game I'm interested in, and I'm sure you are too. There have been some big changes this time around, including red flags. Right now in Formula 1, red flags seem fairly normal. It's a reasonably regular sight when a big accident happens, and the game is now going to try and replicate that. It's a nice addition to the game, just from the authenticity perspective, but hopefully you can tweak it in the settings so it's not overdone, especially in online races. For those of you who were hoping F1 Life was gone, they've actually doubled down on it, and we have a new system called F1 World. Supposedly this system links together modes such as Time Trial, Grand Prix, and multiplayer offering a new exciting way to enjoy the game. Supposedly you'll have weekly and daily challenges to get new liveries, race suits and helmets, as well as being able to improve your tech level and unlock parts and team member upgrades to equip to the F1 World car, improving various performance areas. As tech levels increase, more challenges and events become available, so it's essentially a way of unlocking parts for your F1 World car. As well as that, there's a brand new safety rating system, encouraging drivers to race cleanly, and it will actually pair like-minded drivers more efficiently for improved online racing, which is fantastic to hear. Supercars also seem as though they're returning, but it doesn't look like there's going to be much in the way of changes to the system. It feels to me as though they're perhaps in a contract with the car manufacturers, and they're just going through the motions to have it in the game, but doesn't look like they're going to spend much more time working on it after the poor reception. Of course, we're also getting two new circuits, which currently aren't in F122, Qatar and Las Vegas. Las Vegas would undoubtedly look fantastic, because the level of detail in the new Miami circuit was brilliant. We're also getting 35% distance races, which is something players have been asking for for a long time. It's actually been the default race distance in F1 Esports, but for some reason it's not been an option in the base game. I mentioned Breaking Point earlier, and that story continues in this game. Following the careers of young upstart Aidan Jackson and infamous protagonist Devon Butler, who now find themselves together at the new team, Connor Sport. Then there is a rising star in Formula 2 and sister to Devon, Callie Mayer, who has become the first woman to ever win the F2 Championship. And well, she's keen on having her shot in Formula 1. The story is going to centre around whether Devon or Aidan will have to make way for Callie. And good news. China... Portugal and France that don't feature on the current Formula 1 calendar will be in F1 2023 at launch. There is also an overhauled HUD coming, although they didn't share any footage in the gameplay that we saw. One of the biggest issues players have had with F1 22 is traction. And trust me, as a wheel user who plays with no traction control, I could tell you that one mistake means you're going round. It's very unforgiving with no traction. And I'm glad to say this is an area they say they've improved. They're actually handling upgrades in F1 2023, taking on board players' feedback. There are supposedly new vehicle physics that give cars better traction when braking, accelerating, and cornering, allowing for more predictable behavior. There's also apparently a greater balance between aero and tire grip, resulting in a more realistic feel, as well as something called Precision Drive, a controller technology that will give players who use a controller even more feel when they're racing. I don't know exactly what that means, but it sounds great. The game releases on June 16th for the standard version and June 13th for early access. And I look forward to seeing more information on the actual gameplay.